The Costume Core Toolkit is a collection of freely available tools to help provide detailed description of historic clothing artifacts. Thanks to a project grant from the Visual Resources Association, I've been able to build on my previous work with Costume Core and develop a set of templates you can use through a Creative Commons license available on my website at ardenkirkland.com slash costumecore slash toolkit. Most collection management systems aren't created specifically for costume objects. Most include a simpler set of fields that can be used for any kind of object, often coming from the standards like Dublin Core or Visual Resources Association Core, but used in different ways at different institutions. Costume Core starts by including those same standard fields, but providing specific guidance for how data should be entered consistently for costume objects so that all our collections could someday be compatible with each other through a shared portal. The instructions you're seeing here in this Omeka database have been copied in from the Costume Core Toolkit. From the page for the toolkit, you can link to a Google folder for the project, and the file called Costume Core Definitions and Crosswalk shows all the terms with instructions and examples. This builds on the guidance provided by the standards in the book, Cataloging Cultural Objects. The toolkit has a set of files to load into Omeka S to quickly get you up and running. Or you can copy them in manually to other tools that let you customize fields, like JSTOR Forum. Often you have to fit all of your description of an object into a single free text description field. When you're writing that, you may forget to include certain details as you scan over the garment, or you may not be sure of the vocabulary to use to help the object show up in a researcher's search results. Costume Core helps with this through three different approaches. The first approach is for you to add custom fields into your existing database if you're using a flexible system that allows you to do so. I've tested this approach with JSTOR Forum and with Omeka. Costume Core recommends fields to add that are specific to costume objects so that across our discipline we can be consistent. Once you have those fields in place, Costume Core also recommends drop down lists of vocabulary terms to choose from. These are also in the Google folder for the toolkit, with one page showing the lists for each dropdown, and another with more detailed information, including definitions and the source of each term, compiled from the Art and Architecture Thesaurus from the Getty Vocabularies, the Europeana Fashion Thesaurus, the International Council of Museums, and Wikidata. When terms are used consistently like this, in structured fields, that makes it easier for people to use filters to more quickly browse and search our collections, even if they don't know preferred vocabulary, kind of like when you're shopping online. The second approach is for when you're just starting out, especially if you have a small collection and no budget. The toolkit provides templates you can copy, like a simple spreadsheet using Google Sheets, which leads you through the process of entering all the appropriate terms. Or you can download a zip file, which includes similar files in Excel. Or a small database using an online platform called Airtable. With an Airtable account, you can make your own copy of the free template that I've provided and start entering your own data. The sample data set linked from the toolkit shows how Airtable lets you create different views both for data entry and to share with the public, including galleries. These provide functionality that you could also use in combination with an existing system. Which brings us to the third approach. For institutions that have legacy systems that aren't quite so flexible, and you can't or don't want to add the individual Costume Core fields into the system. For those cases, note that in the standalone templates, there's a field that automatically joins all the terms into a single description field. Then you can copy that into the description field and edit it to improve the phrasing and add more detail. 
then you can copy this description into your institution system, either individually or as a batch import. I hope you'll explore what's available and find out more about the history of the project by visiting ardenkirkland.com slash costumecore. Please try some of these tools and let me know what you think. Custom Core needs you to help test this system with your own collection so that we can improve it together. Contact me at Arden at ArdenKirkland.com.